Hello CSUMB students. Today we are going to show you how to use the class search feature in OASIS. There are other resources available on our website as well, but we just wanted to show you briefly how to do it so you have a visual as well. So if you're looking for a specific class, you want to just make sure you're in the right term first because all of our terms are listed here. So we're looking for whatever term you're going to be registering for. Then you can do class search by subject. So let's say you're looking for a business class. You want to make sure you select undergraduate search. And it's going to list all of the classes that are being offered in the business department. So you can see all the classes listed here. It starts from the lowest number and moves up. You'll see if there's different section numbers they're listed, what times they're listed, where, staff, and it also will give you a link to the book, books for the course. If you want a little more information about a class, you just click on the link and it'll list all the information here, how many units, what time and day the class is being offered, where, if the instructor is in sign, that will be listed. And it'll show you the class attribute. So what does this class count for? This class is a lower division class, and it actually covers your general education social science requirement. When students start to register, it'll show you the number of seats that are available, how many students have actually enrolled, and what is left. And also if there's a waitlist capacity. Lastly, it gives you the course description. So what is this class about? Just take a look at that course description you can see there. You can go back to your view, your search results, to go back to your original search that you did, and it'll take you back to the screen so you can see the other classes that are being offered. Now, for some of our other upper division classes, if you click on one of those, it's going to tell you also if there are any enrollment prerequisites. So make sure you take a look at that before you add a class to your shopping cart. Now let's say you're looking for just a general education class. You need one for the semester and you don't know where to look. The best place to look is under class search criteria. So this is where you can look for a general education. You could look for university requirement. So let's say general education requirement. We don't want it to be business, but we do want to look for our C1 art. You can click on C1, do a search, and it'll give you all the classes for this semester that are going to be available for the C1. Again, it gives you all the course information. It gives you the section number, the name of it, which department is offering that class, and importantly, when you're registering, it'll also show you the status. So it's, there is a green circle there that means that that class is still open. If you want to know how many seats are available, you just have to click into the link for the class and you'll be able to see that. You'll see if they're closed as well. If you're looking for a different kind of requirement, like our university requirements, this is where you can find things like the ethnic studies, your first year seminar, GUAR, Graduate Writing Assessment, Upper Division Service Learning, your U.S. Histories, Civics class, and also our language requirements, whether you're in a BA program or a Bachelor's of Science program. You can see all the classes that'll meet those requirements here. So let's say we want to search for our GUAR. Do a quick search. And you'll see all of the classes that are offered for that semester. So you want to make sure that you know what class you're looking for so that you can find the right one and pick the right time for your schedule. There are a lot of other criteria that you can use. If you click on the additional search criteria, you can narrow it down by days of the week, meeting times, if there's keywords, or if you do know the instructor name, you can actually look for classes that way as well. 
Hopefully this is helpful. Again, this is just a quick tutorial on how to use our class search. If you have any questions about specific classes or requirements for your major, please feel free to reach out to your academic advisor. Have a great day.